Hi everyone, my name is Kimberly Archer. I am the author and illustrator of three stories. One is called Petey Had a Friend. The other one is called Petey Goes to the Zoo. And the other one is called Petey and the Sled Dogs. Now Petey was my little dog and I will tell you a little bit more information about myself and my animal family after I have finished reading my story if you're interested. So let me start with this. Petey had a friend. Now I wrote it and illustrated it. Illustrating means that I drew the pictures and wrote, writing it means I wrote the text. So you guys know that. Petey had a friend. I self-published this book through Author House. Uh, I did it after I retired from full-time teaching and I always wanted to write my own story and illustrate it. So I had an opportunity to do that. So I'd like to share that with you. Petey had a friend. His name was Frog. Petey would look for Frog when he walked around the pond. Sometimes Frog would hide. Sometimes Frog would wait. See, there's Frog hiding right down there. See? Then they would touch noses. Frog would jump away. Petey would splash in the water. Petey liked Frog, and he always looked for him. Petey had a friend. His name was Shadow. Shadow was a lucky cat. He had seven paws on each of his front toes. Petey liked to play, oh, Petey liked to eat Shadow's food. Shadow liked to play with Petey's ball. They would nap together in the afternoon sun. Shadow had a trick. He could open up the screen door. Then Petey would run out to go to the pond. This was very naughty. Petey liked his friend Shadow. Petey had a friend. His name was Buck. Buck started life as a cute little girl bunny named Fluffy. But Fluffy was not a girl and Buck did not stay little for very long. Buck became so big, he could escape from his cage. Buck could escape from any cage he lived in. So Buck was allowed to roam free around the yard. One day, Buck went up to the road. This was very dangerous. So Buck was grounded and put back in his cage. Buck had long ears and spots, just like Petey. Buck liked his friend Petey liked his friend Buck. Petey had a friend. His name was Swimmy. Or maybe her name was Swimmy. It's hard to know with a fish. Swimmy came home from the state fair. You throw a ping pong ball into a bowl and win a fish. Swimmy was that fish. He came home as a little guppy but grew and grew. Now, Swimmy was on his fourth fishbowl and still growing. Shadow. Oh, soon, Swimmy would be big enough to live in the pond. Shadow liked to watch Swimmy. This was very suspicious. So there was a lid on Swimmy's bowl. Petey liked his friend Swimmy. Petey had a friend. Her name was Cutie. Cutie was a blue tick hound. She had eyes. She had beautiful eyes like an Egyptian sphinx. Cutie was the queen. Cutie and Petey liked to go on long walks. They would smell everything. One day, Cutie smelled a rock. This rock turned into a snapping turtle. Luckily, this was very scary. 
Luckily, the snapping turtle was busy laying her eggs. Petey liked his friend Cutie. Cutie was Petey's best friend. They had many great adventures together. Petey would like to be your friend too. So these were all my animals, and these are all true little stories. So we had quite a lively time at my house, and then I decided to take Petey and to make him into a book character, and so that's when I wrote Petey and the Sled Dogs. This was about a trip to Alaska, and then I wrote Petey Goes to the Zoo, and that was about a trip to the zoo. So I will read these to you at another time, and I will also show you how to draw some of the pictures because I was an art teacher and I taught drawing and I can show you how to do that too. So I hope you enjoyed our little day today. I'm a little nervous because it's my first time doing this but you know we all have to learn and now that we're at home we have to learn in a different way. So thank you and I'll see you tomorrow.